20 acres of mud brick homes turned to rubble. It will take another week to level the area. People settled here for work and to escape fighting in other parts of Pakistan. They built houses on land they didn't own. Now they're being turfed out. We lost everything, even our buffaloes. I came here 40 years ago. I can't return to my tribal area because there is fighting between the military and Taliban. Over the last few years, land prices in Islamabad have tripled. There's strong demand for housing and commercial real estate. This is government land. It was sold off years ago. The slum is being demolished so it can be developed. And the developers and commercial land grabbers, real estate sort of speculators, have an in with the administrators and the poor don't. That's why when we talk about enforcing the law, it always comes down heavy on the side of the poor. It's part of an ongoing program to demolish 22 slums around Islamabad. It's a pathetic sight here. There are hundreds of people wandering through the dirt where their homes once stood. They say even if the government moves them to new land, they can't afford to rebuild. On the first day bulldozers moved in, it turned violent. Residents threw stones at police. They responded with tear gas and water cannon. Since then, things have calmed down. Government leaders say criminals live in the slums. The land has to be handed over to its real owners. And these people should go back to where they came from. We are 100% sure that this uh, settlement in I-11, they were not directly you know, involved in the development of the, the city. So these are you know, uh, uh, non-entity for, uh, for, for our city. You know? With nowhere to go, Marjan Bibi is on the street with her chickens. Living on the margins of society, she has little power to resist. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera, Islamabad.